Taurus, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for October 26th through November 1st. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Taurus. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Seven of Wands. I see this in this reading particularly as a um, standing up for something, believing in something and standing up for something um, that you're doing, that somebody's doing towards you, around you or something. Um, just getting up and fighting for what it, what it is you think uh, you believe in at this time. In the recent past, you get the Queen of Swords, the Hierophant and the Strength card. These are tough energies and very determined ones at that. The Hierophant there is you right in the middle. The Queen of Swords is... Now, I'm not sure if that's your attitude. It could be. It's a little bit of a, as a matter of fact, kind of energy. You know, uh, somebody that says it, says it as it is. Um, somebody that's not afraid to, to speak up and stand up for what it is that they believe in. Um, it required a lot on your part to do that. If that's you, of course, it could be somebody you're dealing with, you know, this queen of swords, we would have to wait and clarify. Um, in the current situation, you get the tower, the knight of cups and the four of pentacles. There's definitely an energy, <sighs> there's an energy of possibly you wanting to open up, um, to love. Not only that, but just expressing how you feel to somebody. Um, there's, a, there's a little bit of stubbornness even to it. Like, nope, I'm going to do it if it's the last thing I do kind of thing. You know, uh, it may create a little bit of a shakeup, a little bit of a surprise, surprise kind of energy. Like, what the, you know, especially for the other person. But there's a, there's a level of stubbornness into this. Like, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it kind of thing you know of course this could be again somebody um attached to you that wants to open up to you um in the immediate future you get the temperance card the moon card and the two of wands this is major major transformation the temperance and the moon kind of like trusting that this change that you're feeling that you're going through it's it's gonna lead you someplace at least any other place that the, than the one that you're already in a better place you know um there's this gives me a sense of waiting here this tells me that it's not gonna happen in a very fast like in a week you're a completely different person it's gonna be a process but it's and i kind of feel like you're in the middle of it but the intensity of it will be felt in the immediate future here you know, where things you don't know, things you're uncertain about, things you don't have control over might um, come in to help you change, help you transform, right? But again, I see it as a process. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Seven of Wands. Ace of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's there's definitely an energy of I want this, I want this in my life kind of thing. And it relates to love. It relates to a brand new beginning in love. And I feel like it's you. Um, where there is, there is here a partnership of some sort that you've been working on. You might want more from it, you know? Um, it could be a friendship where you're like, oops, I'm developing feelings here. 
or it could be something where this person looks like they are somehow involved possibly through your work in your life um but you want to stand up and fight for something to begin with them something beautiful now let me see that queen of swords there in the recent past Ooh. ten of swords ten of wands and the moon yeah this is this seems to be somebody you 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 dealt with here in the past somebody that may have turned very very cold very very fast uh and the reason why this person turned that way is because they felt with the ten of swords and the ten of wands that's harsh harsh painfully um pain, pain uh, blah. why can't i talk with you taurus there's a lot of pain that this person was going through um, because of a sense that things weren't things were ending between the two of you here and because of that they went through a lot of pain a lot of hard times a lot of and it turned them into this queen of swords character right that couldn't talk apparently <laughs> that seemed very detached unemotionally they couldn't even see their emotions going through this ten of swords and ten of wands it was hard for them to even access their emotions let alone to respond to or to give their emotions to somebody um i feel like this person did not necessarily tell you all of these things that they were going through um or you didn't know somehow that wasn't expressed the pain wasn't expressed however this person turned out to be a little bit cold here a little more uh let me clarify the hierophant Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Three of Swords. Well, you were in this loving energy. You were really wanting for this to happen, but it didn't. What the hell happened here? You wanted this person, definitely. You wanted this person in your life. There was a lot of love here. A lot of um, you wishing that the two of you would spend more time together and, you know, do all of that jazz. Beautiful kinds of things. But it has the Three of Swords attached to it, which is telling me it may not have happened in that way. Plus the energy that this person carries. Nope. Lots of pain on both sides. Lots of... Um, kind of like something got in the way and the two of you couldn't be together kind of thing. And it caused a lot of pain. Let me clarify the Strength card in the recent past. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles. There was a balance to the two of you being together. There was a balance. There was a happiness there. There was something that was shared between the two of you. Something very powerful. I'm seeing pain though. I'm seeing a lot of pain attached to all of this. Which is not letting the two of you reach that balance. That exchange. Wow. Let me clarify the tower in the current situation. Page of Swords, Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. This is a different energy. Somebody may have started something with somebody else, one of you. May have began something with another person and that actually caused the tower for if so so let's say your person right the person you dealt with in the past there where things were not that great but there was lots of love there um let's say this person started something a relationship with somebody else uh it caused a tower moment for you if you were the one that started something with somebody else it caused a tower moment for them which is a lot of feeling unsettled feeling like oh my god something is what's going on you know kind of thing um i see that as causing this person who wants to stand up and fight for love now is the one that's being shaken up here 
by possibly somebody else's commitment. Let me clarify the Knight of Cups. Somebody else's commitment to another person. Knight of Cups. Clarify by the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. That's you right there with the King of Pentacles. That's definitely you wanting to open up to love. Seeking love. Uh, knowing somehow within you that things will get to this Ten of Cups energy, which is happily ever after kind of deal. However, you are carrying some conflict with you on your path to opening up your heart, your love, your whatever to this person. There's some conflict that you're carrying with you, which is telling me that maybe you did have some conflict there in the past. You didn't let that go. Um, if you didn't let that go, okay, you may want love. You may, you may actually achieve it. That conflict is going to come up and bite you in the, you know what, when you least expect it. I hope you know that. Because you got to work out that whatever happened in that conflict, you got to work it out. Otherwise, you're just going to carry it with you and it's going to show up. Uh, for the Four of Pentacles, you get the Death card, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Pentacles. That's you again, showing up like crazy in your own reading. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> But you're holding on to something. You're holding on to a commitment, a marriage, something. You're trying to make something work. That's for sure. Um, and I'm going to tell you something and you're going to probably hate me, but I don't care because this is how it comes in. This commitment that you're holding on to, it's been dead for quite some time. You're still putting effort in it. They're still putting effort in it. But you're resisting, you're refusing to let it go. And there's that Taurus stubbornness here that shows up in the Four of Pentacles. Like, nope, not letting this go. Okay. Let me clarify the temperance in your immediate future. Wow. Four of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Sun. This is beautiful energy. There's, there's definitely an energy of healing of happiness coming your way you meeting that happiness halfway but it's just by by healing by changing there's a lot of healing involved here a lot of changes happening for your life for the better the more you do that the more you will go straight towards happiness and happiness will meet you halfway they'll be like oh you don't have to come any further i'm coming to get you and you know that's beautiful energy. Let me clarify the moon. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, King of Wands. There's still something bugging you about a commitment, a long-term commitment. Possibly with the King of Wands character here. It could be Leo showing up like crazy. The Sun, the Strength card, the King of Pent the King of Wands. And then you're showing up everywhere. Um but yeah, there could be something that's bugging you, something that's troubling you in terms of um, uh, the idea of a long-term commitment with this King of Wands character. doesn't have to be a Leo. They, they just show up as a very passionate person. Let me clarify the Two of Wands. <laughs> wow. The Tower, the Two of Swords, and the King of Cups. Taurus, I feel like you're um, kind of caught up in between two different stories, two different people possibly, um, where you are being pulled towards the real authentic one that your heart wants. You are staying in the one that makes sense. Now, the one that makes sense, according to the world, according to the rules of life and blah, 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 blah. Uh, that's going to suffer a little bit of a um, shake-up here from the universe. Something's going to happen here where you're going to realize, yes, there's love there. There's not, nobody's saying that there isn't. But you, again, you show up as holding on to something that's already gone. It's done. Yes, love is there. It can still be done. And emotions still being there, you know. Um, so I feel like there's there's this sense of waiting here. When this tower is going to show up, it's going to make you um, 
think about this. It's going to make you reconsider what the hell is going on. Why am I holding on to this when my heart pulls me in a different direction here kind of thing. You know, let's see what the universe has. Swear to God, I love my job. Eight of Cups, the Death card and the Five of Wands. Letting go, moving on. Uh, possibly, finally, physically letting go, physically detaching here. Because again, emotionally speaking, you're out. Physically speaking, I still see you there. Um, it's causing a lot of inner conflict for you. You're on that path of letting something go, something you've been holding on, something that's been dead for a while. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. Uh, hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.